戦闘開始私の幸運と張り合いたいやつはかかってくるのだ Hello and welcome! Today we're in the tier 8 Japanese destroyer, the Yukikaze. And、uh, she is also captained by the supremely annoying Yukikaze, which I hope you all enjoy in this match. Anyway, it's a match on the map north, and、uh, if you don't know, Yukikaze is basically like a better Kagero with F3 torpedoes. Which means that these are.、Uh, Fast torpedoes, they only go 8 kilometers, but they go at 76 knots. They do have an 1.8 kilometer concealment, so it's not the greatest, but it can be a lot easier to hit these torpedoes due to how fast they are. Now, I went towards the sea cap because this is where I spawned, but I am making a mistake right now because I only used my speed boost when I was close to the cap. If I had wanted to go behind this island here that I'm going. Towards, which is actually a fairly safe place to go. I should have used speed boost earlier so I could have got to this position much, much earlier. This is a good place to be because if you sit right where I am right now, the enemies can't shoot you. Even if they can see you due to radar, the only ships that can shoot you are ships from the other side, which、uh, I was panicking right now because <laughs> that's a Hindenburg, and a Hindenburg means 6 km hydro range. So, luckily, the、uh, radar ra ran out, and I am simply just reversing and then turning around to run away because that Hindenburg is most definitely heading in this direction. Now, if I had used speed boost earlier, I would have been in this position much earlier, and thus we might have even been able to take this cap by, you know, at this point. Anyway, I want to torpedo this Hindenburg, but I can't obviously torpedo through my Z 46. So, I do take the minor risk of torpedoing behind her. She shouldn't be able to get in the way of that, but you know, it still can be a risk. Regardless, I'm going to turn around and sail away because that Hindenburg is going to get somewhere close soon enough, and if she does have hydro, that can be a problem. We did take the sea cap though, which is the main thing that matters. It k i n d of surprises me because I really expected this Hindenburg to turn in closer. But for some reason she didn't, and she doesn't seem to be using Hydra either because she is not reacting to the torpedoes, and I think I might be able to hit one of them, and that should actually sink her. Okay then. That. I'd love to take credit for that kind of a ship sinking, but、uh, I'll be honest, that is entirely the Hindenburg herself. She didn't use Hydra, which. This is kind of crazy in a Hindenburg. You probably should take that skill. And she also sailed in a really weird way, even though she knew there were destroyers in the sea cap. Oh well, I'll take it, I guess. Next up, we can try to. Oh, there's a Montana. Oh, maybe I could go torpedo her. Anyway, as I said,、uh, Yukikaze is basically like a Kagera. Oh, the Montana is actually standing still. Oh, this might be a good chance to. Oh, God, no, I'm gonna get spotted by this. Yeah. Never mind, I just got. That makes me sad. Because this might have been maybe a potential position to torpedo the Montana, but、um, with me spotted, I think the chance of that succeeding is low. I'll still take the chance, but I don't think it's gonna work out. Anyway, as I said, Yukikaze is basically like a Kagero, meaning that she has very good concealment, 5.4 kilometers. But she. Oh, am I. Am I gonna hit the torpedo? Come on, Tushkin. Yes! Excellent! At this point, I actually would like to gunfight her because I think I can win fairly easily. Come on! Oh no, she's healing, I think. Yeah, she is healing. No, stop healing. Just obediently sink, okay? No, I think she got away. Yeah, she definitely got away. Oh well, it happens. I mean, she's gonna be low regardless whether she has a heal or not, so. She won't be as audacious at this point. Anyway, Yuki Kaze is like a Kairo. 5.4 km concealment is excellent. And also, combined with F3 torpedoes, you can actually get close. And this being a tier 8 ship, you can have a lot of fun in her. And I really like her. Now, 
Kagero is actually fairly similar in that if you take torpedo acceleration on her, she has somewhat comparable torpedoes. Not quite as good, but at least somewhat comparable. Okay, uh, I don't know if these torpedoes are gonna have much success, but I'll try anyway. I mean, if they hit the, the Montana even a few times, that's gonna be very useful. And I guess I'll just go north and try to finish off the Tashkent and, you know, approach the enemies from behind because I expect them to turn around a little bit at some point. But come on, Montana. You want to catch these torpedoes, please? Yes! Three torpedo hits. Sadly, I think the second set is going to miss because I aimed them slightly ahead of the first one. Oh well, that's okay though. I mean, we did hurt that Montana quite a Wait, what? There's a second destroyer here? This is not cool. Not cool at all. I wanted to finish off that Tashkent. Not fight the lightning. Jesus. I need to I needed to smoke immediately. Otherwise, this is going to be super dangerous. So, I smoked and now I'm going to try to sail out. Oh, Tashkent's here again. I didn't have enough last time, huh? This is a bit of a scary situation though because it is possible for me to get torpedoed here. Luckily though, the Tashkent's torpedoes are... I don't really have words. These felt like they were uh, widespread, at least one set of them, which is uh, something you probably shouldn't do while trying to torpedo other destroyers. There are the lightning torpedoes, but that's okay because I was already angled to, you know, to avoid them. Plus I have a speed boost, so I really wasn't worried about the lightning torpedoes. I was worried about the Tashkent ones though. But luckily it worked out, so it's fine. Okay, so that Bismarck is probably gonna turn closer. I don't see why she would sail away, so I'm gonna drop torpedoes like this. Like I really don't... Oh, actually no, I take that back. Maybe she would turn away. There is a North Carolina pushing. I don't know though, it seems kinda sketchy. I'd like to go north and try to get the better angle on the Bismarck, but I think it's a bad idea because I would probably be ganged up on by the Lightning and the Tashkent, and I don't really have a much better concealment than the Lightning. Sure, it's better, but not by a huge margin, so I'll probably be caught out and uh, forced into a poor situation where I'll likely sink. Maybe I can take some torps onto this Soyuz instead. Oh, that's too bad. The Bismarck actually did turn closer, but she seems to have slowed down a little bit, and the end result is that I failed. I'd like to torpedo this Soyuz, but considering there is a rune within, I don't know, three kilometers of the Soyuz, there's no way this is going to work out, right? Because the rune will just torpedo and then the Soyuz dies. Or the rune will just sink her with guns, right? That, Or, sorry, yeah, with guns. That's also a possibility, although... She is doing some weird actions over there. Okay, yeah, there are the torpedoes and that's goodbye for the Soyuz. So I guess I'll just turn around and go back to dealing with the Bismarck. And there goes the Soyuz. Kind of surprised the uh, it took so long for the rune to actually sink the Soyuz, but whatever. I'll be defending this capstone even more. Wanna pass by this North Carolina and then I'll just head towards the Bismarck. Oh, oh, torpedoes. That's that wasn't cool. But luckily, even if these torpedoes had reached far enough, it should have been fine because the Yukikaza has fairly good maneuverability. And I still had an engine boost for a moment there, so it could have been okay, I think. Anyway. I should probably be able to uh, sink the Tashkent if I run into her and hopefully I'll have some success against the Bismarck. I need to fire these torpedoes. I think it's a bit sketchy. I don't know if they can make it, but the thing is if I waited even longer the Bismarck would have been behind the island. So one, one advantage of having fast torpedoes is that the prediction line isn't going to be as far from the ship you're aiming at, right? So you can get the, you know, these kinds of torpedo launches, like this one. If my torpedoes had been sl slower, but for example had a better concealment, 
then I would have been in a worse position because those torpedoes would have, would not have had any chance of hitting that Bismarck because the prediction line would have been on the island. Okay, let's see. Can I? Oh, that's too bad. They were unable to sink her, but that's okay. It can happen. Oh, and the Bismarck is actually turning around, so that explains why the torpedoes were unable to actually reach the ship. Even if I had waited slightly longer, they probably still would not have been able to. But luckily, the torpedo reload on quad torpedoes isn't quite as long as it is on quintuple torpedoes on, say, the uh, uh, Shimakaze or the Hayate, which is still a work in progress. So I can launch my torpedo soon again. I mean, 10 seconds to go. Okay, um... I am getting closer. The reason I really like Yukikaza having F3 torpedoes is that 8 kilometers at tier 8 isn't quite as bad as it is at tier 10, because there's less radar. Since if you get, for example, many tier 7 ships, a lot of cruisers don't have radar there, whereas at tier 10 they do. And so, I, I, think, I think at least that uh, having F3 torpedoes at tier 8 is not actually that bad. Also, RPF is pointing towards the Bismarck, so either the Bismarck is the closest ship, or there is another ship literally next to her. Which would be the Lightning. Which I'm also okay with, because I do have a smokescreen at this point, and uh, I should be able to at least not die to them. Okay, I'm gonna launch torpedoes in this Bismarck. She's turning, but she's probably gonna stay sailing away. By the way, one thing you can look at, look at the minimap, right? You can see the line from the Bismarck, and you, you could also see the middle line from my uh, cone of vision, right? You can see that. If those two overlap, and that overlap is within the uh, torpedo range circle, then you can know that your torpedo should be able to reach unless something really crazy happens. And I should be able to sink the Bismarck with this, which is excellent. So next, I'm, next up, I'm gonna try to fight the Lightning, because the Bismarck is definitely dead. I don't care about running into her... Uh... I don't care about being spotted because I just want to find the lightning now, and RPF is conveniently pointing directly at her. Come on, lightning, come out, come out, wherever. Oh, there she is. Oh, she has 12,000 HP. I only have 8k, but that's okay. The Yukikaza is an okay fighter, just like most of the Japanese destroyers. I don't want to smoke up because she has a hydro, and in those cases, I can be at a disadvantage. Besides, I'd like to sink her. And since I got a few early shots off, that should actually give me the advantage in this fight. Another thing that's very nice about Japanese destroyers such as the Yukikaze is that her uh, rear turrets are actually in such a position that they are basically in the way so that if enemies shoot her while you're running away, they likely hit the guns and then that damage doesn't deal damage to the HP of the ship. Anyway, we sunk everything on this side, and the only ship left is Z-46 at this point. But just to make sure that the game is safely won, since it's a 4 versus 1 and only 4 minutes to go, I'm gonna go into the B-cap and try to take it. Maybe I'll run into the Z-46, maybe I won't. It's hard to tell. Well, I know where she is by RPF, of course, but still, I don't know how far she is. And, uh, spoiler alert, we will be able to safely take this cap and then try to hunt her down. And this should basically uh, make sure that we win the game. Even though I only have 4k HP, even if I sink to the uh, Z46, we should still win this game. I think even if a second ship dies, we should still be able to win. But that one's actually sketchy. That might not actually be true. Oh, and uh, the Misery has uh, a radar. Oh, she has 13k HP. Yeah, me fighting her head on would not have been the greatest idea. So I'm gonna launch torpedoes. Maybe I'll get lucky. She isn't using Hydro, so there's a good chance that they'll work, right? If she were using Hydro, I would have been spotted. Okay, I got the first shot. 3.5k. Excellent. She's down to 9k now. Okay, this one was a disappointment. That's 700 damage. Okay, I only want to deal a maximum amount of damage. Luckily, she's using a smoke screen, which means that I am not spotted. Well, she is. I think it's the Missouri radar, but that might have already run out. Maybe it's something else. Anyway, she's spotted, so she's gonna go down, and I didn't. That was a very nice smokescreen by the Z46 to help me take less damage. Thank you very much, Z46. 
and 118k damage. Sank four ships, kept the base, kept the second base. I mean, this is a tier 8 destroyer, so this meant that I got 3027 base XP in a tier 10 game. Meanwhile, the second on our team is at 1682. I have to say that I think I contributed uh, a little bit more above my pay grade, right? Anyways, as you can see, Yukikaze is a lot of fun and I really do enjoy this ship. In fact, I'm probably going to play her a lot more and you'll probably see her a lot more too. Or the y Yugumo. Either or. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I would like to thank the patrons on Patreon. Thank you very much for your continued support. Anu, Anu Clear Sky, and I hope I'll see you guys next time.